Today I want to demonstrate what happens when you cry in space because I cry all the time. <laughs> I'm not going to cry right now though. <laughs> Welcome back to Amish Space Station and this is going to be another review. Um, we are going to be talking about our favorite retard. Script man Dan, that is Cy Man Dan, and he is reviewing another um, critical thinker on the object of physics. Um, let's get started in with his trash opening and our review. One of the comments that I always get in these flat earth videos that I'll upload, typically the ones I'll do about um, the movements of the celestial bodies or gravity, one of the responses I always get from these globe believers, the more triggered ones, is you don't understand physics. Well that's probably because you don't. <laughs> Unless you've studied physics past school, then it is quite difficult to understand it. <laughs> and I guess that you haven't, D Marble. Well, I've said this many, many times. Um, there's nothing wrong with school, and there isn't anything wrong with studying anything that, that we want to study. But my first point that I want to bring out right now is with his opening statement there. Um, we now live in the age where we can Google anything that we want to find out about and find out any kind of information from people in different countries, from people you know, on YouTube, um, such as this platform, from their websites. Um, showing pictures, showing videos, documentation, you know, all this other documentation showing everything in our known world. And back in, you know, 1960s, 1970s, we didn't have that ability to do everything that we're able to do now. So it's automatically a, a retarded, um, completely brain dead statement to actually say, uh, you know, what he just said about just, you know, Assuming that someone hasn't studied past school or, you know, following just what the books say, etc., and not running your own tests, that's part of what it is, is being a zombie and being a slave, you know, kind of like what they said about the moon, how they said the moon was in, you know, space and it wasn't part of our atmosphere. And then, you know, 50 or 60 years later, they say, hey, by the way, the moon's in our atmosphere. And guess what? Every single one of these retards like Cy Mandan actually bought that hook, line and sinker. They are the stupid, retarded fish. And my response is always pretty much the same. I'm like, oh, look, another physics expert. Well, here, how about this, genius? Go ahead and explain the physics of liquids or water in large quantities. Huh. That would take some considerable time. The fact that you think it's easy to just explain fluid mechanics in a few sentences is just laughable and tells me that you do indeed fail to understand physics. Oh, well, you know, every single one of us here at the Amish Space Station, we completely understand where you came from just then with that. That was so detailed, the way you broke that down and how you gave a full explanation behind learning, uh, you know, this guy's complete IQ level. You have to be some kind of a super level genius script, man, Dan. That is absolutely amazing. Now, do they ever do it? No. For some reason or another, globe believers like to tiptoe around that particular aspect of physics. So the problem is asking people to explain to you the physics of a liquid when you yourself don't understand it is very much like asking Gordon Ramsay to teach you every single dish he's ever done in 10 minutes. Wow. I never knew the physics of liquid was actually the same thing as uh, Ramsay and cooking. Next time I open up my cookbook, I'm going to be thinking about you, Mr. Script Man Dan. Liquids seek their own level. Let us perform an activity to show that liquids seek their own level. Take a series of interconnected tubes of different shapes as shown here. Pour colored liquid into one of the tubes. Observe that the liquid stands at the same horizontal level in each tube even though the area of cross-section of each tube is different. What is this proving? I'm getting very tired of this proof. What's hilarious about it is that water finds its own level because of gravity, something which D Marvel doesn't invest in. But what happens when there are forces involved that are stronger than gravity? Does water find its own level then? Well, that is an excellent question, 
Mr. Script Man Dan and us here at Amish Space Station can actually answer that for you. Um, gravity is actually supposed to be this kind of magical force that actually holds down all of the skyscrapers and all of the oceans and all of us as people and everything, including all the gases and the liquids and everything on this, this, this earth, as they say. So what exactly would be stronger than gravity, you know, as, as far as, uh, gravity being, you know, defined as everything pulling to the center, you know, um, everything that you say is absolutely retarded. The point of that demonstration that was beautifully done in my opinion was it was showing you that all liquids seek their own level regardless of the container no yes no it yes it does and what's important is that level that it always <laughs> seeks is not necessarily always straight or flat we know that the pressure at the top of each tube is equal to the atmospheric pressure similarly the pressure at the bottom of each tube will also be equal. Hence, liquids seek their own level. Okay, so to go along with that, here's an example. Here's a cross-section side profile of the Panama Canal. Now, what you can see is on the far right side, it shows the Pacific Ocean at sea level, which you can see is pretty much flat on the surface and then what happens is the boats move across Panama through a series of locks um, rising and lowering the uh, level of the water moving across the landmass and then coming out to the other side on the Atlantic Ocean which is also at sea level of course what <laughs> Dean Marble has failed to point out is that the water level on the Pacific Ocean side is actually 20 centimeters higher than that of the Atlantic Ocean side. <laughs> I wonder why he's omitted that. Oh, that's actually a good question, uh, Mr. Scriptman Dan. Let me tell you why he, he omitted that. Do you have evidence of that? Because sea level is sea level. It's not sea level plus 20 centimeters higher on this side than that side when you define what sea level is. Okay, sea level is a universal language, okay? That's what everything is measured by, sea level. Now, Mr. Script Man Dan, can you show me a scientific experiment proving that that particular side is actually 20 centimeters higher? Because everyone needs to see it. Otherwise, you are a liar. You are a liar, Mr. Simon Dan. Now... You and your own personal experience have never seen water do anything on the surface other than represent a level surface as if a perfect mirror. Now, if the surface of water were bulging, such an effect wouldn't be possible. This, this whole mirror thing that we have going on right here, that's not possible if the surface is curving. Why can't flat earthers grasp the size of the earth? Why is it so hard to understand that the earth is so big to us that we experience a landscape that looks flat? I've shown it before, but from a very close up shot, this basketball looks flat. But of course we know that it's not. So basically what Mr. Script Man Dan is actually saying is that we are too small on earth to be able to see whether it's actually a curved surface or flat. Here, here's, here's the problem with what he's saying. Um, the thing is that we know Earth's diameter is 7,900 miles, and we know that Earth's circumference at the equator is 24,000 miles. You see, Mr. Script Man Dan, we know the dimensions that our good folks over at NASA has has gave us. You know, um, they, they've given us a lot of information regarding Earth, and they are pretending that they're way more technologically advanced than what they really are. Um, so here, here's the thing. Here's the thing about that. We measure it and we seem to not be able to find this curvature that you're speaking of. It seems to be eluding us. Do you understand? We are not just too small to see curvature because if, if we were too small to see curvature, the numbers would, would be way bigger than what they actually are. Stupid. And that's what the surface of level water looks like right there. Perfect mirror. Accumulates and gives off that reflection, indicating that there is no curvature on the surface. This is one of my originals from a while back, and, and this is just to get you thinking about this stuff, the simplicity of where we are. Whether it's water in a glass, 
whether it's in a pond, a puddle, in a lake, or on the ocean, the surface is always flat and level. You need to take into consideration the fact that bodies of water only appear to curve in pictures that you will never be able to take for yourself. Is it our fault we're too small to see? Is it our fault that we can't just hop up to space and take a quick photo? No. No, it's not. That's kind of what he is known for. He's known for just making excuses nonstop over and over and over again. Is it our fault that we're too small and that we're too insignificant, that we're too dumb to ever see anything for ourselves, that we are just specks of dust here and we are going to rot away on a spinning space rock headed for oblivion? In the deepest dark pits of the abyss of space. That's what happened to Luke Skywalker. We will share the same fate as my favorite television program, Star Trek. (laughs) This guy is an absolute joke. Complete joke has... No scientific proof, again, in this video as well. Never shows any scientific proof of anything. It's all nonsense. It's all excuses. We're too small. We can't see it. We can't tell. We don't have the equipment. They won't let us into space. Blah, 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 blah. This basketball does the exact same thing. He is a retard. If you follow this guy, you need to wake up and realize his stupidity. Realize your own stupidity. There is no science to be had here. None. He is a script-reading, religious zealot, piece of trash, spewing diarrhea from his mouth. And that's exactly what we are here for at the Amish Space Station. We're going to continue to clean up all of the retardation being spread around the internet for as long as we can. So please, like... Share and subscribe, and I'll see you again on the next show.